guys, this is Minion I2 for Productive Gamers, and we're back. And today I am going to do something that is pretty, uh, well, it is a lot different to what uh, I normally do. But if you've been watching, if you watched the um, Visual Basics How to Make an Internet Browser video, then uh, this is sort of still on Visual Basics, however, this is like um, a whole new step forward. And it's helped me because uh, I've managed to create a lot, and this whole um, thing that I'm going to show you I've done in the space of about four hours over the last few days and basically I'm going to get on with it now it's called the hollow OS uh, which I will show you when I launch it but now I know if you guys are watching and you're saying it's not an operating system at all no that's right but it's it's a virtual operating system it runs within Windows because to create your own you have to create bootloaders and kernels and that will take 10 years minimum. So uh, I'm doing it the quick way. So this is um, a VOS or a, a virtual operating system and this is it so far. So um, here's the version 1.0 alpha. So this is the 1.0 alpha video and I'll do each version that I get to of it. And so we've got the login screens, pretty basic at the moment. Um, you can see my passwords. That'll be a new feature for 1.1 so you won't be able to see the password. However, at the moment, every account is the same one, so I need to create a database that um, sort of sorts everything out. There's a, my login button, and boom, here we go. This is it so far. The um, operating system, now it does look quite like, sort of like Windows, I guess. It's sort of the same style, but we've got three working, fully working programs at the moment. Um, that are the Hollow Browser Nope and the hollow picks which is like a picture uh, viewer so at the moment there's system tab as well but there's nothing on that at the moment and that'll, that'll have um, like sort of control panel features down here is a calendar fully working calendar so like, you can change the date um, you probably won't be able to see the corner of that but never mind so straight to the hollow browser this is what you'd have seen if you watched uh, how to create an internet browser but I've made it um, way better and nice background same as the desktop so here Anything we type, um, let's oh, let's go onto the channel. Uh, so youtube.com slash user slash productive. I'm gonna try and keep this video uh, short because um, I don't want it to go on very long. But then we can hit go, and I think this is the right address. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yes, it is. It's right. Okay, so. Um, Everything that you get on a normal site is all viewable here. Um, the whole um, operating system so far doesn't take up full screen, and it probably won't. You can edit it um, yourself to whatever size your screen is, but I'm keeping it. Um, I'm keeping it just um, at the standard size. It's um, 1080 by 720. The resolution of all of the stuff and I mean the programs are different sizes but yes this is a channel full flash work in there um, flash is fully operational and all of the data as normal scroll down as you would but the whole background thing looks really quite cool I have a file bar maybe up here soon um, just above the search bar where we can put extra things on there but for now that is the internet okay so this is the next one it's called notes um, now this is a whole word process, it's really simple, <coughs> but it's quite, <coughs> sorry my voice again, it's quite effective. So let's just type hello and welcome to the hollow OS version 1.0 alpha. Okay, so what tools have we got here? We've got new um, and save, you can save everything as you would normally, just like that. Um, then you can open a new file, same again, but then you can undo. If you don't like it, get rid of it. But then if you really want it back, you can redo it straight away. Simple as that. Then you can you highlight it all again, copy and paste. Um, that's not worked actually, hang on. Copy, then leave a gap. Yep, that's it. And uh, then if you want a uh, font, you can change all of this. Not sure if it changes the whole thing. I haven't actually 
run any tests yet. Uh, yes, it does. The whole text will be the same, but that's all sort of brilliant because then uh, everything will still look cool. And then also you have colour. So let's go. Let's go yellow. And there you go. Can't see that at all. So uh, change the font again. Something like that. And there you go. Then you can save that as normal. Do whatever, and that's sorted. Now on to the last program that I've actually done, the Holopix. And this is just a picture viewer. So uh, you can open whatever you want, and you've got to find um, find something. So let's go to sample pictures. Now um, these don't all work properly. You, in fact, oh, I think that that's actually worked. Okay, that's brilliant. Um, the whole picture will fit inside the box, I think. Or if not, it zooms. It zooms everything. Um, down so you can see inside the box so that's why it works and then you just click open again and open everything as normal and that all works so um, what's coming for 1.1 is a system tab which I've already started on which will have shutdown loads of stuff like that and more programs um, yeah post in the comments what uh, extra things you want on here because we'll accept any ideas because it's so easy for me to sort all this out um, yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed it, and don't post any horrible comments saying it's not an operating system, I know, I've already said, I know it's not, but, I mean, come on, it takes years, and I'm not doing that, um, or at least not, not at this stage, you can do parts of it, making the bootloader, um, but you need to run, uh, to start really on a separate system, running off a floppy disk, of which I don't have a drive for my computer is too new, although it's not actually that new, but never mind. So yeah, if you're going to post anything, make it suggestions on uh, what you think that can be done for the future, and anything else. This will be available soon at the full release. Um, I'll do all of the things, me editing on my own, is just going to be the alpha test, and then we'll go beta, where I'll go public to just a couple of people that I know, and then I will release it properly to everyone via an installer so that you can see everything as uh, as I've made it. So yeah, I hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this and I know I've loved making it and because it's taken not very long I'm sure I'm raring to go for uh, other things. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and like and subscribe. Subscribing makes a massive difference to us and thank you so much to the latest guys that subscribed to us the other day and yeah, see you next time.